here I'm is back at my secret hiding place and I don't know if you guys understand this lingo here but one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then some yep and then some all right so I'm trying out my new pedals oh I try out my new pedals I try out anything just as an excuse to go to AMVETS. And it worked this time, too. Oh, I'll go home and I'll be fucked up enough to just, uh... Gary, what are you doing? Well, it doesn't matter because I'm fucked up. It doesn't really care. No. Bike rides better with these pedals. What I did was I bought three cans of... You gotta spray it on and the grease and grime just... <laughs> falls out. If you have it on something that that has grease on it, gear, chain, another gear, an area around a gear that has accumulated some uh, yuck. It's, wow. All you can do is spray it and it drops right off. That's all I want. Yeah, it might dry it right out and it might leave it barren with oil, but I'll spray the damn thing with as much oil as I have to see that it runs the next time in a good bit. Good spot. It runs nice for me. In fact, usually when I do it, an adjustment on my bicycle, I'll take it down the road to my Jesus. I put on out of the driveway, down the road. That's how I test it. And I also test it. My next test is uh, at three miles out, three miles down, and the three miles is uh, ambit. <laughs> Yeah, I'll go to Ambit. I'll test out my, my change in my bicycle. Well, it's hit something there. Oh, I don't know what the hell that spit out in the road. You guys can't see it because it's been too far and I'm the camera crazy cry. I'm going to fix this right here, though. This is what I travel. And I got my jacket on, so nobody can hit me. Nobody can hit me. No traffic now either. Yeah, I, I like riding this, and uh, I can't if there's this stuff all over the road. So. I don't think my nephew uh, uh, watches my videos anymore, but I'm still the Beza guy. Check me out. <laughs> it's, a pretty, it's a pretty strange afternoon with Troy. <laughs> yeah, you know him. I know him now. All right, I guess that's pretty good. Looks better than when I came up here. Oh, shit. Because I only go once there on the way home. Yeah, never mind what I say. I'm just, uh... Ooh, good song. Long cool woman in a red dress. Black dress. <gasps> Shit. So anyway, I cleaned up, did a little kicking around, and watch, I go up here, I didn't go far enough, because there's stuff up here, I think, just right around the corner, too, so, I'm not getting off of that, I'll just go around it, because I listen to the traffic through my earbuds, and see that there is nothing, so I'm just going to, oh, it's not there anymore, yeah, there used to be some sticks hanging out a little bit. No, not that I'm riding off the road, but they used to be six times on there. Right there, so... Good looking down, cool woman in a black dress. Oh, I have to go 
My wife was driving on Route 95, going north, and she was doing about 75, 80, and she was on this guy's Jeep, but within a car length, let's put it that way, and we got pulled over. Both of us were doing over the speed limit, plus my wife got a ticket for following too close. Well. When the cop came back to give us the ticket from the, but to stop both of us, the guy that was she was following, and us for the speed limit, and us for following the close, I guess. So anyway, the cop gave the kid one of our tickets, and we got his ticket plus one of our tickets, and it, we called the uh, <laughs> whatever state it was, and they said, eh, just pay the other one." <laughs> okay, speed ticket, I guess. I don't know, I'm not following too close. Uh, so, but anyway, <laughs> Karen got out of that one. Oh, she was close. Uh, trust me, I think. 75, 80. Yeah. I see a lot of videos on YouTube. Well, that was 30 years ago. I see a lot of videos on YouTube that say that, wow, these guys are breaking. Break check, they call it. Right and what are you going to do? Get him! Can you hear me? I don't have a clue. I got my tunes in and I don't hear any wind. I feel it. I don't hear it. Me. seen by me. Yeah, I know, Gary. Jesus, who cares? Oh, Come on, people. Yeah. See that sh shadow was following me again today? Must be a good day in paradise. Watch it, watch it. We could lose it. Yeah, we... My shadow does exactly what I do. So if I see my shadow fall, I must be right along with it. Hang on, here we go. Frick, it must be about 300 miles an hour wind that we're going through right now. Unbelievable. This is an open field. Yeah, if you want a kite, right here. I don't know. shorts for four, four last years I worked at Western Envelope because I was in air condition all day long. So I go into work 20 minutes early, half hour early, eh, got the car heat or I don't. And in the afternoon I got the car heat on the way home. Air condition makes a lot of difference. A lot.
So anyway, that's where I like wear shorts. But I got a sweatshirt on. So that's cool. So anyway, I don't know what I was going to talk about, but yeah, I guess I had to uh, do whatever. Because I'm so yakking. Uh oh, here you go, Bryn Drive. Uh oh, I'm already swerving. Yeah, so what? Uh, good tunes. I don't think you mind at all, anybody. You like your music. It's soothing enough to warrant just being in a different atmosphere with good music. Soothe you. And that's what metal does to me. Yes. Whoa. Yeah, I like that. Been a metalhead for ever. Yeah. I don't know if metal was back in the 60s, but I never Eh, I can't remember. Jethro Tull was one of the like ones that like your eye heap. 70s. Yeah, your eye heap big time. Jethro Tull big time. And then, uh, all time best band I think ever. I never saw him. I used to have three or four CDs in the car and just kept playing them over and over and over again. Because <laughs> I worked from Worcester Envelope in Auburn from 90 to 2010. And I think there was a lot of helmet back then. Yeah, well, besides WAF.com, but at that time it wasn't. It was a good station. Now it used to. Just before I left the shop, I uh, couldn't connect to WAAF because it was the bandwidth was split and it had stereo. In fact, HD stereo. So, uh, split it so much that you couldn't pick it up, but oh, within 50 miles of Austin, which isn't much. Christ, it should be 200. But it wasn't. So I listened to that. Went to a lot of concerts in Worcester, Worcester, Providence, Hartford. Back in the 80s, 90s. Even in the 90s. Oh, maybe not the 80s, but the 90s. After Aaron grew up a little bit. Uh, 90s. 2000? Yeah, around 2000. She, uh, she and I went to a concert in Silver Lake in Austin. Yeah, Medford, whatever that is, Dorchester. I don't know, whatever those little towns are, but. Orange, nine millimeter. Green Spoon. Megadeth. Something like that. And the uh, WAF was a star with Miss Carrie. Uh, she had a broken leg. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had a video gamer back then. Uh, my kid was what? 20? No, 15, 16. 84, 20? Yeah. I thought about it, but I was good that day. Hi, kids. Home. Ooh. Honey, 
is home. Boy, I tell you, I got that inkling right now. He was on the way. But I think I already did too much. Uh, yeah, you don't know. Well, I probably had throughout my videos, but you guys don't put two and two together and see what. This is not just the Beezer guy. This is the Beezer guy. What do you think I plant all this scripted stuff? It's not scripted, but it's planted. <laughs> yeah, because it's been there for a fucking long time. This is where the Beezer guy is situated. Oh shit, yeah, hey, this is my next door neighbor. Look at that thing, huh? Woo. We are in like Flint in this neighborhood. But yeah, look at that. The nicest place on the whole hill. This hill has seven cul-de-sacs. You know what a cul-de-sac is? <laughs> Me either. <laughs> I know there's seven.